Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Christian Hanahara here, and today I want to do five early 90s horror movies I want you to watch. Now, please forgive me with the term early. What I'm kind of constituting this as for me is basically pre-Scream. So that's, yeah, Scream came out in 96, so basically 95 is the latest year that some of these movies are. Um, and, you know, I, I like 90s horror. I do. And I'm trying to find some that I haven't really talked a whole lot about before to uh, do a video on. So I thought, why not five, find five 90s horror films that I really love that I want to talk about? Um, of course, you know, I try to you like make my number one the most important, but the truth is... Every one in here, I think, is a number one. I think these are all really cool films that I really just want you to see. You know, so without further ado, we're going to jump right into this. And uh, this is a film that I recently saw this year for the first time. I think it's been remade and all that hoopla, but I, I love this movie. I, it was a thrill ride. That's a movie called Flatliners. Uh, Flatliners starring Kiefer Sutherland, Julia Roberts, and Kevin Bacon. What a star-studded cast, right? This movie was an adrenaline rush. I mean, this movie was simply about a group of friends who literally kill themselves but know how to bring themselves and revive each other back to life. They flatline each other and bring each other back, and it's supposed to make them feel great and feel good and all this. It's a wild movie. It's a fun movie. It's a really dark, moody-looking film. The cathedral rooms that they do this flatlining stuff in was really spooky, but I loved it. I really loved it. Flatliners, I thought, was an awesome, awesome movie. I can't say enough good things about Flatliners. Um, just, I wish I had seen this sooner, to be quite honest with you. Really good movie, really great cast, really great story, and it really lives up to its name. It'll have you on the edge of your seat, so Flatliners is a great movie. I can't speak for that remake. I haven't seen it, but my safe bet would probably be to just stick with this original. All right, I got a soft spot for Mick Garris, but I do like this film. I really do like this film. This is a Stephen King adaptation. Uh, I believe this is from 92, if memory serves. Actually, I think this came out right around the time I was born. Sleepwalkers. I love Sleepwalkers. It's one of my favorites. Uh, it's 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 not my favorite Stephen King adaptation, but it's certainly one of my favorite from the 90s. I know I love this. I love Graveyard Shift. I love Thinner. Uh, some, of the, some of the 90s Stephen King stuff was pretty good. And Sleepwalkers is a silly, fun horror movie. It's, uh, it's like blockbuster horror, if I had to call it anything. Now, it was a theatrical release, but it really is blockbuster-style horror with you, your characters morphing and doing claymation transformations while driving. Uh, but a good cast. I think the girl from Twin Pe one of the girls from Twin Peaks was in here, which was a huge plus for me. And I think Mick Garris casted her because Twin Peaks had just, I believe, had just ended, and it was a huge success of a show. Uh, well, it was a cult hit, excuse me. It started out really big, and then Twin Peaks nosedived because it got very David Lynchy. I love it, and has a huge fan base for it. Now, regardless, I'm getting off on a tangent. Uh, one of the Twin Peaks girl stars in Sleepwalkers, and she was great, beautiful young lady. Uh, fun movie. It's just a fun movie. It delivers for some 90s cheese fun with pretty good music on it. Uh, just a fun story, a, a fun little movie. I love Sleepwalkers. This is a Scream Factory Blu-ray in case you don't have it. I love Sleepwalkers. Love it to death. Okay, now this is could be the most important of this video. I know I just said all of them are number ones, and they are. Listen to me, guys. Are you a fan of the movie Leprechaun? I thought so. A lot of people love the 90s schlock and cheese and fun of Leprechaun. I know I do. Well, the guy who directed Leprechaun, I believe, also made this movie. This movie gives Leprechaun an absolute run for its money. And it's got a cult fan base, but I need this to grow an outcry. This movie needs a Blu-ray. Pizzle, I wish you would have brought this up in your movies that need an update. But you did a lot, so I can't be too upset. But I'm going to say it here, because I had this on VHS. Rumple Stiltskin. Rumple Stiltskin is awesome. This is one of my favorite mini killers. Although Rumple Stiltskin's not really short like Leprechaun. Rumple Stiltskin is, I think I enjoy it as much, if not more, than Leprechaun. This movie was amazing. Leprechaun Rumple Stiltskin, excuse me, is a classic folklorish character. And he's inside of this stone in the movie. And it, the stone is in present day. This woman buys this stone. She somehow resurrects Rumpelstiltskin out of this stone. And Rumpelstiltskin starts to take over modern day civilization. He's, he's, he's joyriding 18 wheelers, blowing stuff up, killing people. It was awesome. Kevin Yeager did the makeup for Rumpelstiltskin. Look at him on the back of there. Look at that. Tell me you don't want to see Rumpelstiltskin. This movie needs a legitimate Blu-ray release, and it's criminal that it doesn't. Whoever owns this movie, get 
it together now. As far as you all, try to watch it. Just try to watch it anywhere for now. And then when it comes out on physical media, buy it too. But trust me, Rubble Stillskin is one of the most fun 90s movies in the world. I love Wes Craven. And one of my favorite films that he's done is this one right here from the 90s. It's one of my all-time favorites. It's certainly got a great fan base, but I would like to grow it at least one more from this video. People Under the Stairs. It's one of my all-time favorite Wes Craven films. What a great film. This one is yet again on the chopping block of getting a remake, and I'm just numb to it all. I'm numb to it all. But with that, I want to pra praise the original People Under the Stairs, a Wes Craven film. What a fun, entertaining, creepy, funny, spooky, serious, black humor, exhibitionist-looking, wild movie. You get a lot out of the people under the stairs. Sorry about that glare. And this movie just delivers. I think it's so fun and energetic and wild and kooky. Awesome film. I love People Under the Stairs. It's a great Wes Craven a film, I think. And you need to see it if you haven't. If you don't own it, please get this. Don't let it go out of print. I'm begging you. Don't let it go out of print. Get it now. And last but certainly not least, a movie I've never talked about. I've never talked about this movie, but I had to rewatch it a couple times because uh, I never disliked it. I would watch it. I would say, oh, that was pretty cool. I really liked that. But then I would watch something else immediately, and then I would talk about that on my YouTube channel. And I realized, Christian, get it together. So why not bring this movie up here? Uh, this is from 1995 from Cl Clive Barker. Lord of Illusions. Now, this is a mid-90s, early mid-90s. I think it was 95. Yeah, 95. Like I said, pre-scream is what we're going for here. Clive Barker film, Lord of Illusions. I like this movie. Let me just read you a little bit because I don't know that a lot of people have seen this movie, but I'm just going to give you a little bit of this synopsis. Scott Bakula portrays Harry Diamore, a private detective visiting Los Angeles on a routine investigation. Harry gets more than he bargained for when he encounters Philip Swan, a performer whose amazing illusions captive, captivate the world. But are they really illusions? Harry isn't so sure as he is thrust into a nightmare of murder, deception, and terrifying assaults from the dark beyond. I loved Lord of Illusions. This was a, a Screen Factory purchase that I unfortunately think is out of print, but you may be able to see it across the internet for cheaper prices. It wasn't one that went out of print super fast. This movie's been out for quite some time, and it didn't sell mega well, you know? And I, I can understand that because, you know, when people think of... Uh, Clive Barker, they certainly think of Hellraiser. They certainly think of, you know, Candyman, even though he produced that. They certainly think of Nightbreed. But I love Lord of Illusions, and I, I'd like to get one more fan for the film. So that's my number one for this video, but they're all, like I said, they're all number ones. Okay, guys, so those are five early 90s horror films. Please forgive me. I know some of you may be saying 1995 is an early 90s, and you're right, but pre Scream, help me out here. Um, those are five that I love. I really want to gain a fan for some of those. Please let me know which ones you have seen in this list. And please let me know which ones you are enticed to check out. And please let me know if some more early 90s. No, there are some that I, I, I've talked about on numerous occasions, like Ice Cream Man, Psycho 4. I've talked about Psycho 4, which is from 90. I love that one. So I try to do some that I just simply haven't talked about at uh, that often in this video. So there you go, guys. Christian and a horror. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. So love you guys. Happy Thanksgiving.